Oh, moving to Germany for me was the best experience um, because I got to speak, got to learn how to speak fluent German at the age of four. I got to learn about different cultures because Germany is a very, very big country and there's a lot of different cultures from, you know, Turkish to Blacks to God, Yugoslavian to everyone. And it was, just, it was great for me because, I mean, growing up in England and I was over here, I would have been very much in just like a Jamaican community, which is obviously great, but it's always good to kind of venture out and know about other cultures, so it's great. Every time I think I'm food, yes. <laughs> when I was younger, I always wanted to sing, obviously, but um, so I was at boarding school, and the only way I could have singing lessons was if I was uh, had an opera, had an opera um, teacher. So I, I was, I was um, classically trained, and it was great, actually, because it really gives you, it lets you know how to breathe properly, it makes you belt out the notes in the right way, instead of kind of hurting your voice. So it's, it's the best training, really, actually. Uh, do you know what? I always wanted to sing mainstream music. I always wanted to sing soul music. And in fact, my opera teacher used to be really annoyed with me because she's like, I don't know why you want to sing the secular music. You know, you are so great at doing the classical thing. You could really make great money from this. But my heart, I mean, I loved it, but my heart wasn't in that. I, really, I wanted to be like Whitney Houston when I was younger. I was like, I want to be like her, you know? So it was just something that gradually happened because I wanted it to. Do you know what? I mean, when I first got signed to Mercury, it was, um, I mean, we kind of had everything already done, so it was very easy kind of for us to do it. But the second time around, it definitely was more pressure on how much records are we going to sell instead of, it, me, instead of it being about me growing. So I do feel like if it's a label, if you haven't sold enough records for them, then it definitely is restricting. But if you've done well for them, then they let you do your thing because it's working, obviously. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I do find it easier because being independent, you can do what you like really. But the only thing is that sometimes things will take longer and it's just a bit more harder work. But the good thing is you get to do what you want to do and it's your own imprint. Oh, uh, do you know what? The South, my single so hard. In fact, the whole, all the music I've been doing recently, people are really happy that I'm back doing what I love and doing it without any restrictions, I guess. So. I mean, so far the response has been amazing. That video took us like literally like a few hours. <laughs> you can tell we're just walking around New York. <laughs> you know, that's the whole thing about the whole um, Blue Rock um, situation with, with Dame Dash. It's all about, it wants, we want it to be as real as possible and, and, and as realistic as possible. So the concept was just us all just saying, hey, let's just walk around New York and just do what we do every day. and. Um, just make it about you guys, about me and Ski, because me and Ski are actually really are in a relationship together. That's, we've been together for two years, so that's why it was really easy to make. But yeah, it was just, it was just real and natural. <laughs> what well, are you costing me yet? <laughs> oh, so the reason why I disappeared for so long is because I had to find me again, because there was a point when I kind of start, kind of stopped enjoying it. And for me to stop enjoying music is crazy because I love music, I live it, I breathe it, that's all I do. And um, it was a point where I just didn't want to be on stage performing because I just thought it was just a lot of politics and a lot of stupidness going on. And um, now that I'm back, I'm doing it again because I love it. And I needed those three years for me to be around family and friends, around people that genuinely just love me for me and it's not about anything else, you know. And now I'm back under my terms and it's great, so. Tell me why you got the reason I changed um, the album title was because at first I was going to call it Walk With Me anyway but what happened is I realised that Jamelia had an album, um, her last album that she released was called Walk With Me and I thought, oh, you know England's going to be like, oh, why are you calling it the same thing? But when I went to America, so then, I, then I changed it to Ms Walker but then the Americans were like, who cares, no one cares, like, and they, it's about what makes sense to you and I was like, you know what, for real, because all the other albums have been called whatever so I thought Walk With Me makes sense so we went back to that and I love Jamelia so it's all good. Well, um, I actually spoke to Labour the other day and they told me, but I don't want to keep telling people concrete days, but September 13th is supposed to be the concrete date of when everything comes out. 
The new album is very, very soulful and um, it's very hip hop based because obviously Ski Beach is a big hip hop producer. Um, but yeah, it's very soulful, it's very hip, hip hop based and it's just, just lush. It's amazing, it's my album, hello. You know what? <clears throat> I think a lot of people don't know about me yet still, you know, which is fine. But I think the people that do know, the respect is there and I feel it. I feel it. But I think there's obviously again there's a lot of politics. It has nothing to do with me, but I don't really care about all that. As long as people get to hear my music, that is all I care about. And if you like it, then support. When I want to keep up to date with all the soul and dance music news, I read Soulmate Easy.